Weeks after his sudden resignation, it was revealed former Michigan Health Director Robert Gordon had signed that confidentiality agreement as part of his severance package. After bipartisan blasting of the secrecy, that clause has been removed and all parties are now free to talk about why he left so quickly. Let's get to Grant Herms live tonight and Grant Gordon is the first one to break his silence on this. Devin, he is, but only in a letter to members of the House Oversight Committee up in Lansing. But still, this is a big development for those questioning the governor's leadership in those early months of the pandemic. In a letter to lawmakers, Michigan's former Health and Human Services Director Robert Gordon hinting at behind-the-scenes disagreements between himself and the governor's office. On occasion, there were robust conversations about policy issues where reasonable people could disagree and did. This was healthy. The stakes were life and death, and different people have different roles, Gordon wrote. The former director not giving any specific details, only saying the governor's plan during the pandemic saved lives, but again indicated a rift between himself and the governor. I was honored to play a part in that work, he wrote, adding, Governor Whitmer deserves a health director with whom she is comfortable. The letter coming just hours after the governor's office confirming both sides were agreeing to end confidentiality surrounding Gordon's sudden resignation and $155,000 payout. Since Gordon's resignation, Republicans have called for an investigation into the state's nursing home policy in the early months of the pandemic, pointing to Gordon's separation as evidence of wrongdoing, similar to the nursing home scandal in New York State. The governor's office today saying they waived confidentiality in the interest of transparency, and she was supposed to be available at the unveiling of Ford Field's vaccination plan. Whitmer, though, left that event today without taking questions. And we have some video of that uh, at the end of that event today up online right now. Now, in the meantime, state Republicans are calling on the attorney general to reopen or start an investigation. They've launched a petition online to get her to do that. She has said so far she's not willing to open an investigation based on the allegations that have been made so far. Devin, you got it. All right, Grant.